I know Monaco's a unique track, but how much confidence can you take from that weekend, both Sebs and Lance's performance? Well, they both felt comfortable in the car. You know, Monaco's a, a tough track, and if you don't feel comfortable, you don't get the most out of it. We did a good job to finish fifth and eighth, score some good points, and uh, we'll try to continue to do the same going into the future. Have you seen much of a change in Sebastian since that really smooth weekend in Monaco? Well, he was getting better and better. I shouldn't say better and better. He was feeling more comfortable, more comfortable in the car, and uh, it culminated at Monaco. And uh, after uh, FP1 here, there's some changes that he would like to make to the car, so uh, it feels even more comfortable. See how we go. Was it a little bit of a light bulb moment, do you think, or just the progression of little I steps? Think it, I think it's a progression of little steps. It's a logical incrementalism to get to uh, to get to the peak. With Lance, he just seems to be improving with his consistency, I think, in particular, and delivering that pace weekend in, weekend out. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he's very consistent, um, which is exactly what he worked on over the winter, and uh, it, it's, it's uh, proving to, uh, to have paid off. Have you seen that he's kind of kicked on a little bit since Sebastian joined the team, having a four-time world champion next year? Well, yeah, I think, uh, you know, we, we're, we've all improved a little bit in our process and in, in, in the way we go about the weekend and uh, you know we're all learning and and uh, Lance too so uh, we'll, we'll lift the team together. Great stuff, good luck this weekend up Matt, thanks for your time. Thank you.